My name is Daniel Hirschman from Technology Will Save Us, one of the founders. We are a company that creates uh, DIY kits, which are all educational platforms. Something You learn something very specific while making one of our kits. We call ourselves a haberdashery for technology and education. We're here at Makers Fair because it's basically an opportunity to celebrate maker culture in London and the UK, and ultimately the world, hopefully, if this thing spreads as far as it ought to. So I'm David I'm from Sugru and we're based in Hackney in East London. Sugru is an exciting new self-setting rubber and it bonds to pretty much any materials, wood, glass, ceramics, plastics and then overnight it turns into uh, flexible silicon rubber. Well we've been, we've been in Maker Fair for kind of four years, we've been going to San Francisco to the Bay Area and we meet so many makers and hackers and fixers and we get really inspired by them. The way they think, it's almost like a different way of thinking, like we're, we're great believers in like if you can't fix it, you don't own it. I'm Isabel, I'm one of the founders of Bear Conductive and we are a small startup based in London. We make an electrically conductive paint. The idea behind that is that people from children to engineers can start to use conductive paint as a prototyping or playing material to learn about electronics. I think for us really it's about exploring and learning through making and just really playing around with your hands and all the objects and materials around you. Finding different ways to play with electronics and crafts and combine these in a way that people had to before. I'm Cory Doctorow. I write science fiction novels. I edit the website Boing Boing and I campaign for digital rights. I help found the UK Open Rights Group and I'm a fellow of the Electronic Frontier Foundation in America. Well, I started off involved with Make Magazine. I was one of their inaugural columnists. But I think my closest connection to them is that I wrote a novel called Makers uh, that a lot of people who are involved in making um, have told me was significant to them. I'm Chris Payton. I'm from London Hackspace. And today I'm here with Tom Wyatt and Charles Yarnold. And we've brought our caravan space simulator with us down to London Maker Faire. We've written our own computer game that runs inside and is completely immersive. Every switch and dial inside does something to control the simulation. The idea is that you go on a training mission and it all goes wrong. For me, being a maker is being able to do things yourself, just being able to make awesome and build and create and invent. I'm Biggles and I teach interaction design at London College of Communication. I'm also uh, an interaction designer. Making now has changed. It's starting to become much, much bigger, a little bit more cerebral as well. You know, people are thinking about what they're doing and why they're doing it. And our students, definitely at college, uh, are makers. I heard that Tim Hunkin was going to be there. I mean, he actually is a hero of mine from, you know, when I was, oof, gosh, 24 or something. I'm Tim Hunkin. Um, I make things. Uh, I've made things for as long as I can remember. I was interested in the technology and uh, the tools and all that sort of stuff. And suddenly the makers were interested in the technology that they were using and that's what they were passionate about. So it was nice to feel there were other people who thought the same way. v and is a good place to have uh, this event because there's some amazing things here. People have made people have made some utterly amazing things in the past and a lot of them are here. I really like the words of the Maker Manifesto. I think uh, if you can't open it, you don't own it is a really actually significant point about the 21st century. But I also think that there's a wider political significance in an age where everything is made out of computers. To be able to talk about how those computers and devices work is a really critical piece of our democratic discourse. Uh, it's nice to be a part of this community. It's great to reconnect with people that we know. But it's the newbies that we really care about because it's like, can I, should I become a part of this movement? Is this it? Is this the beginning? Hopefully it is for a lot of people.